I'm going to show my finger to to none. Excuse me, what? <laughs> it, it sounds weird, but you know, yesterday I I just measured my finger with a door. Okay. So he's in very bad shape right now. I can't play Blue War. That's why I'm casting this game, Clan Wars in the next days because I can't really play. Okay, okay, all right, now, okay. Um, it's better I don't play at all because I suck big times. I just started playing again after like I don't know ten years or so. This game is so freakishly difficult to control. Yes, I know. It's Actually, I I can't use my my left hand like my right hand. I I can't do that. But in Brugwar I can. My my a, my APN is like forty five only, <laughs> so I can't really control Brugwar. <laughs> I, you could constantly play five pools. <laughs> no, I was all, it's always an option, just five pool. I was trying to play Protoss that is, is the less <laughs> mechanical I come on, this demanding is a, it's race, but it, it wasn't working. Hey, come on, I'm Protoss main race. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of insulting. <laughs> no, but you know what I mean, that if, you are, if you are a slow player, it doesn't matter really the APM, but I guess 45 is really... It's impossible. Dude, 45 IPM. It, it's enough. It's enough to uh, kill some people. So. Um. Okay, I don't see none. So. Yes, I don't do ice cream. Alright. But if you are Protoss player, why why are you supporting Cell players? It doesn't make sense. I don't support Zerg players. I support uh, special Zerg players like Bakuyu. Just national pride and stuff. Um, where are you? I'm in the channel of iPhone. Um, I'm in channel admin. Wait. Okay. Yep. Let me remove from. Going to add you, but no. So today we are casting Peru versus America, you know, right? Yeah, I read uh, stuff about that. So which countries are in America? The United States, Canada, something else? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure because they are using Argentina flag, but <laughs> they are not Argentina players. Or it's Honduras yeah. flag, something like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, Ian one password. Yep. Okay. I hope I know all the maps. I just realized that at LAN I was uh, two weeks ago, there are so many new maps I've never heard of. Like what, like what map? I don't know. I already forgot it. Uh, like um, La Mancha? No, this no, is, no La Mancha not, I know. Oh yeah, this map I know. It's a three-player map, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wait, I, I mean, remember playing... We are, we are doing this, bro. We are talking like... <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Guys, this is the nation war uh, Peru versus America. And I'm casting with Gecko. I have a co-caster today. I think it's much better. Not okay. to cast me myself alone because it's very tiring, especially in the last games. <laughs> it gets really consuming, so... Yeah, I was surprised ab about how exhausting it is to actually cast. <laughs> I didn't really talk much, <laughs> yesterday at least. So... Um, 
Do you know Michael is back also? Mm -hmm. Michael is playing for for America. Oh, all right. Sounds cool. Cheese King. Do you, do you remember him? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, he it was a pain. For, it was a pain in the ass to play him <laughs> if you were a Protoss <laughs> player, <laughs> because he also was always like playing one base, uh, uh, Lurka drop or selling drop or Hydra drop. It was very. Yeah, he was kind of cheesy, right? Or he could just play macro and kill you. It was very funny. Like the yeah. Protoss over defending everywhere. <laughs> He's just drowning <laughs> up. Yeah, yeah, I do remember him. He was really, really skilled. He's like uh, half Korean, right? Yeah, he's he's Korean American or something like that. Yeah, it's probably something like Scan or I don't know. I All guess this. I I guess he. No, I I guess it's not the same case of Scan. I think. Yeah. I I think Scan spent his childhood in in Korea. Yeah, right, okay, scan is a special case <laughs> in most regards. <laughs> yeah. No. It's a bit of... Yeah. In case you scan sees it, I know... <laughs> I know making fun of him. And yeah, I don't... I really don't want to make uh, fun of scan because he got a lot better than he was like in 2010 because he, he was kind of a kid <laughs> but just coming in. Flaming, insulting, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it was about times, I guess it was also uh, a time where uh, it was a misconfusion by everyone. Like, like everyone was trying to blame, uh, you know, uh, this guy, I forgot his name, this American guy. Uh, the uh, cheat, game? The cheater, yeah, this guy. I uh, know, joke him, joke him, right. Uh -huh. Joke him and game. It was a yeah. very funny situation by both of them, like, they were betting much and gain new the results or so yeah i don't and know stuff like that yeah i couldn't really follow the the bullshit anymore so i gave up eventually no but they both they both are gone by by now i guess they move yeah. on or they were banned or i i don't know uh, ah. Joachim was lifetime banned by me because he ripped clan league uh, together with, with game they also somehow disbanded RM overnight. I really can't remember how that was. I, I remember coming online and everyone complained about how IC Cup admins are retards and whatnot. And the case was something like uh, the clan was disbanded, it just didn't exist anymore. And it turns out it was just Joe Kim because he wanted to like annoy game or some stuff. I and really think about how it. I how how stupid and immature was everyone by then? <laughs> I mean, I, would, I can't really imagine some yeah. someone doing that right now. But yeah, just just go the games. <laughs> yeah, just let's comment the comment on that. The first <laughs> set, the first set is Dian Max. Dian Max, okay. He's a Protoss player, very very talented player. Versus yes, I do know. Versus I do know. Dragon. Ah, okay. The TLS so champion. All right, it's a uh, toss against Zerg, right? Yeah, because Dragon plays uh, CVP, no PVP. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Okay, let's go. First set, Aztec. Five, four, three, two, one. Can you introduce Stop. the players? Yeah. yeah, all right. Uh, at the 12 o'clock, we have an orange Protoss Dianmax from Peru, and at the 9 o'clock ish, we have Dragon from Canada as uh, spawning yellow, I hope. A bit colorblind, so don't ever trust me on colors, but it seems fine. No, it's yellow, it's yellow. It's yellow, yeah, I know. It's, it's a problem with like a brown, green, and this, this, I don't know what kind of color it's supposed to be. You know, but this is, the, this is the. It's not yellow, yellow. It's like the mostaza yellow, you know. Hmm. I think this color is the mostaza yellow, you know. Mostaza yellow. You know mostaza? No. No. <laughs> oh yes. I don't know. I'm not a girl. I don't have ten thousand words for the same color. No, <laughs> yellow it's is yellow. Mo mostaza is the the sauce. Ah, okay. Oh, whatever. <laughs> so dragon. Is, no, Dmax is. Uh, He's making an expansion. 
he's going for a fast expansion. Yeah, right. Uh, does he play Forge Expand or does he play Gate Expand? No, he's gonna be Forge. You sure? Yeah, yeah. He's making a straw with workers and he didn't set the, the 9 for the gate, you know? Okay. Uh, like I said, I forgot most about build orders, so don't ever trust me on anything I say. I just um, comment random things, and you're going to correct me. I hope. Yeah, listen. If you know, if you know about two v two, it's gonna be very nice. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> I, I so do not care about two. Wait a minute. I need to pause the string one moment because the string literally is Russia versus Nordic. <laughs> I need to fix this. Oh All right. Uh, okay, guys. Technical do... problems. <laughs> yeah, no problem. This is starting very nice. Uh, so you don't know how you don't know about Twitter. Ah, uh, not much. I re remember being forced to play it for Clan Wars at some point because nobody really cared for it and it was basically just build units and a click until some other guy dies or yourself die and it was over so that's my knowledge about him too but for some reason it's i think we we bet a lot of uh, we defeated a lot other of other guy dies or yourself die and it was teams. over so, so i really have no idea what's about good in tune tune what's not but for some so. reason it's i think we we bet a lot of uh, we defeated a lot I of other guy dies a lot of or yourself die and it was teams. over i could come so out I really but let's hope we'll never see fast as possible in nation league okay let's go con let's continue the game we can go mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it's Dragon versus DMX. DMX is doing fast expansion. Dragon is playing standard or pool. Yeah. So what are you going to expect from DMX? Uh, from all I saw, he's a pretty much harassing player of sorts. He I does a lot of drops. No? Yeah, I think DMX is the kind of player that he's very safe, and then mm -hmm. he's uh, for a fast robot DT drop. Is his standard signature? Okay. Uh, I'm expecting something like that. Yeah, I kept uh, watching. Wait, wait, wait! He's making a pylon here. Where? In the in Dragon oh. Main. Oh, wait, wait! He cancelled it. But okay, what? Ah, it was a fake. Like, <laughs> but what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Special tactics. Special <laughs> tactics. <laughs> but <laughs> he's so old. Fake. For what? <laughs> It's it's fake can rush into fast expansion, obviously. Uh, Very old school build order. No, uh, I've been watching a lot of wards lately uh, from Nation League, and I've kept seeing Dian Max quite often against Zerg, and I was positively impressed by the level of play he did, uh, showed. Because um, he kept really harassing good players, and yeah, like I said, I was really really surprised that he. Uh, could face them so good because you rarely see his name in letters or anywhere outside of nation leagues actually oh wait you you need to remember that Diemma was a a good player but then also playing in, in the TLS uh, tournays you, do you remember that? Uh, partially I didn't follow them as closely as I could oh uh, two days before core that's interesting yeah probably wants to put some pressure on Zerg. This is Stop the favorite DGM5 <laughs> strat. <laughs> ah, Gem5. I do remember him. <laughs> Does he occasionally play Zerg again? He's playing Zerg. He, won he plays Zerg. Uh, Gem5 often played Zerg. Didn't yeah, he yeah. like the Russian lands to, to, to get this 5 pool prize or whatever they had? <laughs> Yeah, he, but he, it's funny that he made the finals playing, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. It's incredible. I, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Demag is going for this two gays before core, and Dragon is, is going to scout this very soon. So in theory, he needs to make a lot of links. Mm, and that's it, to hold it. It's gonna right. be affected by the 
by the eco, of course, because he's making links instead of drones. And the first yeah. is not doing, no, it's not doing anything. Oh, he killed one drone. But still. Yeah, I guess it's just to to threaten and to fool him into building even more links. I don't know. I guess he hopes that a circle will delay his tech, but so far he seems pretty fine actually. Oh, um, he's going to lose his overlord, isn't he? At his expansion, at uh, he's Denmark's gonna lose expansion. the overlord. He's gonna lose the overlord. Why? Yeah, why he lose the overlord that. like that? I don't know, but he's got the second gate, so. No, 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 but he did before. <laughs> he did, yeah. He then did to to lose the overlord because oh, for that. Oh my god. And you know yeah. what? Diemma did, didn't really commit to to making lot of cialos and pulling pressure. It was most like a fake, like you said before. Yeah, but he keeps constantly sending small amounts of units towards her. So the first salad arrives at the third expansion and tries to do something. Meanwhile, the next two leaving for the natural. And somehow Dragon doesn't really react in one way or the other. A uh, spare is, is, is almost done. So I, I don't expect him to lose many oblers, but uh, the follow up yeah. from the Emmas is uh, scary. He's going like he has three gays and expect uh, four gays in total. So uh -huh. the shallow follow up is gonna be scary. Yeah, but so far. Especially that the dragon, dragon natural suspension is oversaturated. And if you look the tier, there is only one drone. <laughs> yeah, because there was a cell at Harrison. Yeah. Uh, he had two kills, but I don't know what it was actually because. Oh wow! The other lost the the corsair. Yeah. That's unfortunate. You see, all oh, five getaways in total. Right. And Dragon is taking a a very quick four also. Yeah, right. So, why does he build his gateways so chaotically? Does he want to hide them, or is the... That's a good idol? question. <laughs> <That's> a good <laughs> it's basically impossible to macro well with that's such a building placement, I guess. No, because he he can make... Uh, you know the F4? With F4 ah. you, you can click yeah, yeah, easily? Sure. On F2, sure. the, the gateway, so, so you know, it's proto, so he, he needs to click <laughs> and sit. It's, it's not that problematic that like you want this to be. <laughs> so here we go again, about protos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not blaming okay. protos, it's just a funny comment. Yeah, alright, um, he lost the second uh, Corsair as well, and he just stopped Corsair production altogether. But he tries to attack. With pellets. Uh, so far, this doesn't the really The DT is killing drones in the natural expansion. Yeah. The sunken wasn't ready. This DT is 7 kills. It's, uh, it's more <laughs> than decent. Yeah, it's quite good actually. Oh. Now the pellets are in. Let's see how much damage they can do. Hmm. Yeah, not much. But the DT keeps on killing. Five. Man, the DTs. <laughs> I could <laughs> unit. it. <laughs> you can't sing, yeah, no more shell, whatever. But it's one kill. Yeah. One, one shot kill, boy. It's, it's, it's incredible. Uh, do you remember Skyline? He kept saying Protoss and the invisible bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> So, at the meantime, Protoss gets some Archons. I don't know if Storm is ready or not. Did you check for that? No. No, to be honest, I, I didn't. I, 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 I'm pretty sure he's not ready because he made an Archon, so it's not ready. Yeah. And so he keep making Corsairs, he also made DTs, so, and he's making High Templars. Yeah, so far his ground army is still up to the task because somehow Hydralisk is still missing. He hasn't built a den, right? You know what is funny? He's already making dragons. <laughs> dragons to kill dragon. But like, like very fast. Yeah. 
Actually, I I think he tr he's doing well because I don't think Dragon. Okay, Dragon is not ready to stop the dragons. You know? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why this guy so, choose Dragon as, as me name? <laughs> okay, he is going straight up for lurkers at this point, which won't be such a good choice, considering that there actually are dragons, but no robotics yet. Um, this mineral only. I I don't like this expansion. Of course, the Protoss is the this is the only option that he has, but it, do you see the, this this will mine out so easily? Yeah, sure. It's quite some low minerals there. Yeah. And you know what, Dragon is in in not a bad in not a, in not a so bad position. He has a mm -hmm. four. He's adding more hatcheries. He has a decent drawn amount. He's going for the queenness, and he's going to camp very, very, very bad. So. Yeah. It seems like Janmax wants to move out, but forgets half of his army. Mm, no, I think he's moving for fun. <laughs> oh, okay, <All> right. <laughs> Because, so honestly, at this, at, the, at this point in the game, I, I can't believe you're moving you with only two Archons and some cells. Yeah. It's like a high pressure or not. No, he's moving Dragons now. Alright. Why? It's retarded creatures. Dragon is making sunken very far from the original wall. Yeah, maybe he thinks he plays SE2, where you have to spread creep all over the map. I don't know. No, I think he he missed the, the timing for this. I think it's late. I think it's, it's late to do that. Yeah, sure. Um, wow, nice sniper. He is sniping two lurkers. What? Wow. Yeah, but on the other hand, he does not have Psy Storm, which would come in really handy right now. Wouldn't it the Stormfish you have like 10 dragons, 2 archons, and, and Imbasialos? You don't need the <laughs> Storm. <laughs> you don't need the Storm. <laughs> yeah, alright. Uh, that's the perspective of a sword player. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that he's not making high tempers. You are right about it. I, I think it's something about uh, the advantage he has. But oh, he, he <laughs> Sison just now finishes at 12 and a half minutes. And um, he attacks without observer as well. He, keep, he keeps sniping lurkers, this is amazing. He, yeah, right. He, he has no observer, he's just a sniper lurkers. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I, 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 I'm watching this. Yeah. And maybe he secretly is Charon. Man, this guy is a baller. He, he has no survey. He is sniping the lurkers. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. He keeps playing like Charon. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> oh, he kills the pool right away. And this high tempo is going YOLO so right here. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Wait, he's gonna snipe one lurker? Yes. And Oh another. my god. Dragons are in bad. <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember Yuma, right? <laughs> you can do this as, as Terran player. <laughs> <laughs> so to quote Yuma, if you have five Dragoons, you basically lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do anything about it. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime soon. Uh, no, seriously, seriously, it was a bit good play by Demas. I'm very impressed yeah, by what he's doing. Yeah, right. As a, I personally would Do never you know how many times I did see Lancer X losing games because no server? <laughs> and he has like <laughs> b 20 dragons or something like that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Good. this is very impressive. Yeah, sure. And I think yes, Jeffmans is going to win this game. Yeah, but he doesn't add any observer at all. Now the first observer is out. Yeah, he lost the dragons, so yeah, this is a problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where is and the he doesn't really care for his <laughs> attempts either. <laughs> Where is the server? Uh, it's at his natural. It just was at his natural. Oh no, no, no. There are three servers in the map, but I can't see. Oh, guy, there is one. There is one. There. 
Okay. And Dragon somehow he holds. Yeah, for now. And right you know, Gemma has four bases. I think he, economy yeah. speaking, he's in a five position. Yeah, he's, he's very good. I think he's quite ahead at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no doubt. No doubt about no that, doubt. but. Yeah, it would be a good idea to just drop the main of Zerg and kill the hive altogether, but for I, some reason. One, th one thing I am concerned is that he has stopped the upgrades. He then made the plus three. Yeah, that would be a very good idea against the uh, cracklings in the economy. Yeah, know. especially against cr cracklings. Because yeah. Archon, Archon's plus three is, <laughs> is a good is a good talent to have. So. <laughs> yeah, all right, but cracklings are in there as well. So. Oh yeah, observer, first observer out, but again, no high temper, just pure dragoons. Yeah, but nice, nice army. You know, no high tempers, only Dragoons and Cialos. Diemax is playing yeah. very bad in this game. Yeah, but it seems to work out. I'm not sure it's a good idea. No, it's a very bad idea. It's it a terrible see. idea. Oh. <laughs> like, you are gonna lose all the Dragons for free. Yeah. I think it's very interesting that Diemax kept Nitrum like a god against workers, but against Zerglings, yeah, well, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Just let them die. It's ironic, right? <laughs> yeah. like, it was like five dragons sniping ten lurkers, and right now he has like, I don't know, 20 dragons, he loses everything. Yeah, right. So, but Zerg's um, economy is quite low, especially on the left side of the map. There are like uh, six drones or so gathering minerals. So he, he, has, he has he has he has 52 links. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it tosses Crack seven dragoons. So <laughs> crack links, but sadly it's only plus one car pace. There is no belink attack. Yeah, and Dianmax goes for the plus one armor instead of the plus three uh, attack upgrade. Dianmax is taking a new expansion. I think, to be honest, this is the way to go. Just take more expansions and keep trading right because okay dragon is in he has hive he has some hatcheries but he's very behind he he's yeah Ugr he's behind you grace he's behind in army he's behind in expansions and uh, the more the worst part probably is that he can't really attack anywhere because uh, the Max already has Reavers out which is also quite good I think you know that the dragon naturally gonna be mine out pr pretty much at the same time the my the the natural from the protoss will be mine out also that's how bad yeah. it is yeah but he has no economy there anyway so why bother Oh, and Dragon is, uh, and the Emma is going for it, but uh, man, that that was a, a terrible attack. He stormed his Cialos. <laughs> yeah, but it's enough anyway. Because uh, oh, the Nidus is up. Yes, okay, but he stormed his Cialos. <laughs> he <laughs> killed his his Cialos. Yeah, but he has dragoons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess he's going to hold that for a bit. He's gonna kill the, the Sunken maybe? Yeah, not even that. Yeah, he's gonna, oh. he's gonna kill the Sunken. But he lose the army again. Yeah, now here come the reinforcements one by one. This is a terrible move actually. <coughs> Wait a minute. The Emma's didn't make the plus, the plus 3. Yes, yes, I told you. He's going for the arm upgrade. He has but he now. didn't make extra forge. Yeah, he, he kept using the forge as natural for some reason I don't uh, quite understand. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And here are the first defilers. You know what? Dragon keeps holding <laughs> the attacks. <laughs> yeah, that's because uh, Dian Max for some reason only sends one control group of units all the time. If you look at his natural 
all the reinforcements are just standing around and do exactly nothing. And this kept happening while he kept pushing the Zerg. If he had sent all his units back there, uh, this would look totally different. I think Diamond could be a good uh, League of Legends player. <laughs> okay. Because he is very talented to control like one unit or <laughs> three or four. <laughs> but when it comes to the big macro army, he is terrible. Like he made a big attack and he stormed his own cells. The cells <laughs> were gone by storms. No 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 lurkers, no links, no no anything. <laughs> yeah man, you gotta show that you have the advantage. Like uh here's my tag. <laughs> Let me help you. <laughs> Uh, okay, he's making a lot of cannons now in the main to defend drops. Yeah, right. And Serb now got the first Ultralists, which is quite good. Cracklings and Ultralists against this kind of army composition. Uh, there are definitely Archons missing. He's building some now, but it's basically a bit small. Yeah, I guess it, it's because. He's is he slowing us, mm. uh, or no? Not that much. But I he has he has four oh. rivers. Four rivers uh, is pretty good versus uh, ultra. Yeah, sure. But he only uses them to defend his base. And fun part is um, at the three o'clock expansion, he now starts at a second forge for reasons unknown because the weapon weapons upgrade is being researched at the moment. So I am surprised Dragon didn't make a move to take more expansions. He's doing it now, but I think he had the chance to do it before. Oh, he tried to uh, expand on this. Um, what's that? Uh, six o'clock? No. Six o'clock. No, no, no. The one next to the six o'clock. The oh. one he takes now. Okay. He already had it up, but uh, Gen Max just denied him with like uh, 10 salads or so while attacking the natural okay I missed that are you sure you are not dreaming or something like that no 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 yeah. uh, it was definitely okay there was definitely hatch and it was definitely attacked and killed okay Diamond is making more salads and, and high templars he's making yeah. more rivers more shots probably he's, he's going to do something with this some or us sure Hmm. Do you like I my Cuban accent? As you are, yeah, yeah. You are it's weird. <laughs> it's very good. It's very good. Uh, very understandable. The man is taking more expansions. Yeah. You know what like I said before? It, Protoss players usually don't like don't don't like this map Aztec because it, it's quite difficult to to keep with the Sir because you have like six free expansions to take as Sir player. You know, the yeah. if you yeah, are yeah. taking two mains, you have the two mineral only, and then but you... But, really, that's a problem on all three player maps in my experience. Uh, the same problem you face on Longinus, on Tau Cross, on this other Zerg maps, <laughs> I don't really know. No, why I mean not, well, Longinus is Protoss map, because there are the, the, the main, the, the natural expansion with two gases is Dasimba. you can just do... Max yeah. Harkon <laughs> and defend no. and, the, and that's it. Yeah, but you get cracklings in return, so that's a plus. What are you talking about? Crack I hate cracklings. Cracklings are like only good versus the plus two attack protos. <laughs> I mean, so the plus three, plus three Harkon is, is very imba. Yeah, sure, but you have to uh, like defend against drops or something. Yeah, you know, they, they are like, close in limits. They are close slim in limits right now. Yeah. I I think they must need to be careful. He can't really lose this army. Yeah, sure. You should avoid that at all costs. You should also like try to get Surf's expansions down instead of taking the almost mined out natural and the almost mined out main base because there's no point in attacking that anymore. I'm okay with him trading a bit, like sniping some Hultras, come back, defend, make more army. Oh no, the Arbit is out. So I guess he wants to recall pretty soon. Recall? No. He did. Yeah, I'm quite sure. He's okay with the recall? No. No, uh, from 
the games I watched, I I had like this idea that Yen Max has no idea how to play the end game, right? Because he, like you said, has a problem controlling big armies. So he often built like Arbiters and tried to recall him this way kill the Zerg. Because you don't really have to control your army this great if you recall. But you know, it's the first out. time it's the first time in the game that he's behind in, in pop, so Yeah sure, because he doesn't really defend that well. His bang is huge. Yeah. Oh nice reverse. <laughs> you know I think Dragon is going is gonna lose the ultras. They are very expensive. Yeah. Wow, like do that. you see that? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this wasn't just <laughs> such a great move. <laughs> Oh man, I am a safe player, I feel so bad watching this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Jan Max is going to lose his next expansion, I guess, about uh, the 11 o'clock. There's a ton of uh, Ultra Disc and one Defiler. And literally nothing else to defend the space. You know, this is crazy, but I've seen Dragon <laughs> will win this game. Yeah, because uh, like Jan Max just missed his chance to actually kill off Dragon in the first game. This is one of those games that you want to punch your head, like, what the, what, what happening? But I can't understand it because they must keep losing his big army. Like, he, lose, yeah, sure. he did like three or, three or four times. Yeah, if that's enough. And the most crucial part is he really didn't do anything against those expansions until they were up. He now attacks the uh, 6 o'clock, but, yeah, well, Zack can really really just ignore that at the moment. Well, the only I can say there was a... I, 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 we, have, we need to give some credit to Dragon also because he, he, he hold yeah. attack after attack after attack. It was impressive. And yeah, it, it was very, very well cost efficient. It was mostly with links and Sunkens. Yeah, sure. Uh, except for the Lurkers, but... <laughs> who snipes Lurkers with the Dragoons? <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. It was like boxer. <laughs> yeah, the the is the the boxer of Protoss. <laughs> yeah, definitely. The Lord of Dragons. Okay, so Yem Yemen is is not even mining that much. Oh God, the Reaver Micro. Okay, I guess this is the last attack. Yem uh, is about to die. It's just too much he needs. Yeah, so many ultras. Yeah. So yeah. many ultras. Way too many ultras. Oh, that hurt. Oh, nice play. Um, this is just overkill. Um, we are expecting a GG. Yeah, right. <laughs> GG. GG. Wow, that was intense. an intense game. Yeah, very, well, very. Well. The way the first one. It was a really wonky opening, though. That was impressive by by Dragon. That was impressive by Diamonds in the beginning. Yeah. I was a bit disappointed with his big control army. It was. Yeah, it was a bit sad to see him lose. Actually, as Protoss player, he was so far ahead and then just gave it away for free. I mean, how, how bad you you need to to really how to say that to fuck the situation where you are like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know when you, you are protoss player, how can you lose that game like that? Oh, sorry, you need yeah. you don't need to do much. It's like move your army here. Wait a minute. Keep, keep the sir keep sending units, keep losing, and that's it. Just wait. Oh no. He somehow he stumbled his own yellow sun all the time, yeah. keep using his big army. Okay, the, the map is now is fighting a spirit. Oh, I've never heard about this map. It's <laughs> a new map. Yeah, it's a very new map, right? Yeah. You will be impressed by this. Five, map. four, three, two, one. So, this is the second game, Dian Max against Dragon. Dragon is one up up. Uh, one one against zero up. Um, in the right bottom corner we have as orange 
Dian Max and as Brown Zerg in the left corner we have Dragon from Canada. So So <laughs> that's the question. <laughs> what what can we expect after <laughs> this first game? Yeah, basically uh, very much the same opening I guess. Another Forge expand, uh, pretty much early pressure, Dian Max takes the lead and then loses it again. No, I, I think we, we can expect now Dragon to play a bit better. I think he won't be that surprised about uh, about the two gays or about Dietmar's choice. Yeah, but uh, that's the fun part because Dragon really did scout it and then lost the overlord to the cannon <laughs> after scouting it. Yeah, I, I think uh, Dragon, it's very hard to, to play bad like ID in the, like the first uh, five minutes or six minutes. It, it's very hard. I think it, it was a miscontrol or something. So I don't expect him to lose overlords or drones or links for free. Yeah, I guess so too. But uh, let's see, maybe something entirely different will happen. But Well, so far it's, the, it's pretty much the same the same thing. Uh, fight suspension. Oh, a double scout. This isn't really the ordinary way to play, right? Yeah, I guess he's uh, very scary because he. This is a fast force also. Mm. Like he's yeah. expecting nine pull or. So, or yeah, maybe he tries to cannon rush. I don't know. Mm, cannon rush. I, I don't know. Oh, maybe. I know what are you. What, what are you doing? You are pulling an artosis. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I mean like. The only reason why I would send out two scouting probes would be to expect uh, some kind of cheese or all in, but. You know, there was I a game between Jadon and Stork in Circuit Breakers, and in the moment Stork made the force, I thought he was like, Stork is gonna have a cannon rush! It's a cannon rush! <laughs> <laughs> I, I was yeah. like, come on, calm down, this is Stunter. <laughs> Yeah, it was really amazing to, to listen to Atosis because he kept talking so much bullshit. I think he predicted every single strategy the wrong way. Every single one. The game I watched. Um, did not, they must play him pretty safe here. Two cannons before, uh, yeah. before the Nexus. Uh, he did delay the hatchery at Zerg, so maybe he feels like it's okay to pull two cannons instead of just one in the Nexus. Well, alright. Hmm. You know, nowadays Koreans doesn't doesn't really make two cannons. They always pull the probe and just wall mm -hmm. one cannon defense is enough. I like that he hides his probe in the center of the map to just uh, have an additional scout later on. I'm curious about something. Do you think mm -hmm. the Ser has no vision about this probe? If the he is hidden in this hole? This is a really good question, but I think he's bound to see it. The Overlord at least. No, the Overlord just but the, li the links. They, they have vision about this special hole? Uh, I think um, if they run by from uh, from below, no, but from the top maybe. Like, uh, it matters um, where the link run runs to. Man, I play so many games and I don't, I don't remember if I have vision of this. I think no, I think no, because sometimes I, I did miss Shallows. <laughs> they, they hide in this position, I, I miss them. Yeah, that's like, um, that's a really huge problem for me, uh, playing on, on um, these, like, sand tiles, right? Like uh, Judgment Day or Colosseum or something like that. If your opponent is uh, brown, I just keep missing units all over the, all over the map. I don't think I, I never play Judgment Day. Never? No, I don't think so. Yeah, it's a quite old map, I guess. I, I saw games, but I, I don't remember playing this map. Yeah. True, true. So you, you, you play Brookbar like... That was a bit, that was a, bit old, uh, a big old map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. No, uh, this was just the first map that came to mind with like uh, this, this desert tiles on it. I couldn't come up with the name Colosseum <laughs> right away. Yeah, I Just remember Colosseum. <laughs> yeah, right. But there are no more desert maps, are there? No. Nice shallow, but DMS. 
Yeah, right. Like he's gonna uh, do he's he's gonna keep the the set player bossy, but yeah, he also keeps scouting, and this is worth so much. Just having vision, knowing how Sir plays, uh, if he drones up or if he builds additional circlings. So this is really worth it, in my opinion. Oh, nice snipe! This yeah, guy is a good nice. sniper. I think he should play <laughs> Counter Strike or. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mostly. This is this is special El Bunker training. <laughs> yeah, El Bunker. <laughs> El Bunker. <laughs> you know, one time Terror was in the uh, playing in the, or training in the bunker or something like that. It was the first time he, he was getting drunk, and he don't he don't even, he doesn't even remember how he was at his <laughs> own home <laughs> because these guys uh, they are training, but they are, they are drinking so much alcohol <laughs> that they are fighting <laughs> right. pretty bad. Yeah, like the pictures of Lance series. <laughs> it's not like the, you know, the, the Koreans uh, thing house, they are training seriously, <laughs> but yeah. The, yeah, the Peruvians are farting pretty hard. <laughs> but right. I think this is the point of making an Alang or something like that. You are getting fun. Yeah, yeah, Alangs are pretty fun. But uh, I have to admit I had the same problem at our lawn. Uh, it just arrived there and started to drink beer and lost count about how much beer I had. And then some at some point the evening just went by. <laughs> I really don't remember it. I had like ten beers or stuff like that. Oh, but really ten, ten is okay. I, I usually I don't drink alcohol. I with two I am pretty much done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, five? No, six. It was by Demas. And wow. he's making the dragon range, so this is pretty much all in. Yeah, but you kept saying <laughs> it's it's basically a bit like the game we saw just before. I'm really interested to see what he's going to do with these goons. Ah, oh, that's a good question. <laughs> because yeah, but you know what? He was pretty good with lurkers, but not with links. Yeah, not the links, and now this time uh, Dragon goes for a Hydra straight away. I don't he... see Sunkens. Yeah, not at all, right? I guess he doesn't expect this. I um, mean, uh, did Zerg scout this? Yes, but why this guy is crossing the map with only four Shallows and one Dragon? Yeah. Yeah, I hope he's going straight for the natural, not for this expansion at the 9 o'clock, because... <laughs> <laughs> like dragoons and rams are <laughs> not the best combination ever. <laughs> you know what? I I don't think it's it's a good idea to attack any place right now with this. Oh my god, yeah, this is so scary. Just, yeah, I guess he could, he's going to lose this. I guess. He he needs to he need, he needs to to come back. He can he can attack. Twenty two yeah. hydras. Is, this is impossible. Yeah, but what other choice does he have? I mean, he, he, need he has to nothing to stop he need this. To retreat. Oops. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think this is this is not a good choice. I'm not fighting in the open. Wait a minute. He's trying to snipe one Hydra one by one. No. <laughs> yeah, this this doesn't really work out. The strategy fails right away. This is not working. This is not working and he lose most of, most of his army, so... Yeah, but Zerg uh, didn't really build any reinforcements, but doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, Drago didn't make the... He, okay, the range is gonna finish now, but... Okay, yeah, so I, I don't know. I think if Dragon waits for the plus one attack, he's gonna crush the Dragon army so easy. Yeah, I mean, at this point, anything counts as Dragoons, actually. Except for Lurkers, maybe. Or at least he made, like, five more shells to tank? I don't know, because uh, the Hydra Scum is just way too big. Oh, wait, there is one High Templar. Is the Storm done? Oh my god, it's not even done. No. Huh. I think if Dragon attacks now, he's going to to win the game. It's just 
straight, straight yeah, up. The, this, yes, uh, this Hydra 4 is huge. You can't yeah, drink it. <laughs> oh, gonna... oh god, oh <laughs> god. <laughs> this hurts. That was a miscontrol or that was a dance or... What was that? No. Anti-micro. Oh. Well, solid play by Dragon. Uh, again. Yeah. So, a solid reaction by him. Um, but I don't know what Demas was doing. Neither do I. I've never seen this before, so... Well, solid play by Dragon. Yeah. Good job. And GG. Okay. <laughs> so, that's game one for Peru. Yeah. Uh, no, not for, no, for America. Kind of it's America. for America. Yeah. And the next game is Handy versus Michael. Oh, this could be really good. It's Handy, not Dandy. Oh, <laughs> so two different players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but Handy okay. Handy is good also. But he's yeah. a good two v two player. Like he was like. A minus or a rank in the good old days. Okay. Yeah, always saw for basically four, the same person. So three, <laughs> this is something two, new. No, it's the, they are different people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's against uh, Sir against Tyron, and we have a uh, yellow Tyron for Peru handy at the what was this again? Nine o'clock ish position. And at the bottom right we have what's this color purple? <laughs> this is nine oh eight. Nine oh eight. Okay, let's say eight o'clock. Yellow Tyron Handy Peru and purple sack at the five o'clock is Michael, the old school Zerg. Well, old school is probably the wrong word, but an old player, quite good Zerg. Yeah, he so, he was a he was decent. When everyone was uh, is wishing to StarCraft 2. Yeah. Ed Deason is pretty much an understatement. He was quite good. I mean, I this guy was good, and I was uh, I was like B- minus or B rank, but he was yeah. already good. Yeah, he, he most definitely was. I think uh, the best players were like Siki and Hime, and then it was like Michael, I guess. A bit, bit worse than the both, but... He was pretty good, pretty damn good. Yeah, I remember some crazy best of five versus project <laughs> that was so intense. Uh, yeah, I think the final score was like three two for project. Yeah, definitely. I don't remember what league it was or it was a show match. I don't remember. They played quite often, so it's really hard to say. You know, the, the fun is that I don't remember Michael being that aggressive in CBT. Fancy stuff like hold lurkers and stuff, uh, things like that against project, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. I remember a game with queens, defilers, <laughs> ultras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some really crazy games between those two. Yeah. So I guess um, Handy is going for a s very standardized fast expansion, and Michael seems to play quite well macro oriented as well as far as I can tell this was a 12 edge right uh, yeah it's a standard 12 hash uh, 11 pool um, you know uh, yes the chat is saying that Michael is a chaser but in CBT I don't remember him doing that much is he was a very solid standard player CBT yeah I mean, you could play all stars. This was the bad part about Michael as opponent, I guess, because you couldn't be really sure what he was doing. Yeah, he was so in predator, predator. So, yeah. So the third hatch is going up. Why he is well. delaying the CC so much? Yeah. Oh no, he's attacking. <laughs> he's attacking. Is this, is this going to be some form of bunker rush or what? <laughs> this is like the what? Why? Wait a minute. 
Candace Burr. Dice Peruvian Tactics. <risa> El Ponca. This is... Wait a minute. Wait. This, this just might do some damage, actually. Actually, Michael doesn't expect this. He's making drones. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is bad for Zork. No, oh, this but is... He catches, he catches the SUVs. Okay, this didn't really You're all this easy. Yeah, I guess this is over. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you can't really come back from this. You can you can back and make a CC. You can even make a barrack or a gas. But he keeps sending his marines. Why does he do that? <laughs> how are you gonna hold the the links, dude? Okay. Not that successfully. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's, 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 he's bugging the, the marines, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, I, I. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> he's Special so lucky techniques. that Michael didn't see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Special, special tactics. Wow. Well, this marine, somehow, he's harassing the, 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 the air expansion. Okay, this is incredible. <laughs> yeah, I told you, he kept sending his marines down. But why? This is like this um, this Microma Special Force Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's gonna kill one link? No, almost. Oh. Almost. Yeah, but Zerg is so far ahead. The Spire is already coming up, I guess. Yeah, here it goes down, and Tyrant basically has nothing whatsoever. Well, he's making a CC. Yeah, he kept doing that. I mean, that's just basically his only choice in this game to try to come back with a solid market. Play. Oh, nice micro. Yeah. You know what? We can we can forget his big mistake before. That was a sin. <laughs> we can forgive him. <laughs> that was worth. Yeah, but uh, Michael keeps building circlings, and I guess he is going to attack him pretty soon. I don't see you really. Uh, how Tyrant can defend this and expand at the same time. I think people always show their best in a, when they are in a bad position. I think this guy is gonna show us something very, very amazing. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's five no. Marines, <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> five Marines against uh, how many? He can do it, he can micro third. it. Yeah, he saw some water boxer and thought he could do the same. Okay, oh. he need to drill the CVs. No? Uh, no. What's gonna oh, happen here? Firebots. Firebots. Almost. Oh, this is over. That was this close. Is... I think he need like one second more and that was that was an I uh, ease hold, but Yeah, but not yet. Okay, next time. Doesn't matter. I mean, even even if he had defended this, uh, mutualists are coming out right now, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is so over. I can't believe he keep playing after <laughs> the five bunker rush. <laughs> 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 to be honest, uh, he like it's like he's putting he her he said himself in in shame. You don't need that. I know you are playing for Peru, but <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean now he has uh, like three firebats against this whole bunch of muters. This yeah, nine, nine muters. So. It's like yeah. So. Let's okay. see how long he stays in the game. He's drunk. Another two minutes. He is drunk or something. Yeah, quite possibly. Oh wow, Michael! Michael didn't even micro. So. Whatever. Yeah, maybe he is uh, singing Eye of the Tiger while playing this, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. You're funny. <laughs> uh, why he is he still playing GG? GG. Wow, man, you are doing... You are doing a terrific job. Alright. Okay, nice play by Michael. Yeah, most definitely. You know, he didn't expect that the the bunker rush. He made drones. He had he had only only six links.
Yeah, but he uh, caught him pretty well. Like in the worst spot, he, you could be a turn and then he lost all his marines and he was just basically over. Yeah. But I really don't get why he just didn't expand, why he attacked, especially so extremely late. Yeah, it was pretty weird. <laughs> Hello, <clears throat> so we have Longinus, Talk talking about Longinus, we have Longinus. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Alright, it's um, Michael against Sandy, the United States against Peru, or Team America against Peru. So far, Michael is up 1-0. As green Terran, we have um, Andy from Peru at the 3 o'clock. And at the 7 o'clock, in this orange dirt, there's Michael. The map is Longinus. And let's see what we're going to see. Mm, I can expect a very standard play, like making a wall. Not the Donald Trump wall, but making a wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Michael is is gonna do twelve hash, I expect. Yeah. If it was me, it will, I would make like four pull. <laughs> oh, Henry doesn't know Michael. <laughs> this is interesting. Maybe he thinks he's Michael BG. <laughs> <laughs> All right. More more shake. No? Yeah, I don't know. Just a bad title. Uh, Maybe this was his attempt at Russian or... No, wait. I, I remember Michael Teen. It was not... IG. It was a... Uh, wow, man, I forgot. It was American team. OD? Maybe? OG. Can just... OD. OD. Yes, OD. yes, yes. OD. OD. Yeah, OD, OD. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard about this team before. Uh, the StarCraft 2 better, though. Oh, that was a a nice thing <laughs> in my in my era. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I, I was a part of the B, B division. I wasn't part of the A at the okay. time. It was like F R O D uh, I four. That was uh, our division B. Yeah. Right. So like I say, he was making a wall. He's probably main a CC. Yeah, let's hope he does a uh, CC this time, not again some sort of bunker rush. Or no, I don't expect you know. him to leave this barrack and, and do a bunker rush. <laughs> I mean, you on. never know, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Michael is uh, he's going for the 3 hash standard lay play. Yeah, makes sense on this map. So, Tyrion goes for bio or get for mech? What would you do? You know what? He's making a gas. He didn't make the CC. Hmm. This is strange. But he makes a CC yeah, now. Yeah, he's gonna make the CC also. Yeah, maybe some kind of fa fast factory. Alright, so it's uh, some sort of mech play. Hmm. Let me see. He's what, what? What we are missing here? He's not making a fa a new barrack or anything for a fax academy. So. Yeah. Mm. This is most definitely being a facility. Yeah. Factory, factory, yeah. Factory. factory, right? Yeah, it's so confusing. My my Maybe we will be to factories world tours. This is this is some kind of a standard Peruvian strat. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe he's doing some really fancy stuff like uh, some Valkyrie play or <laughs> I don't know. Valkyrie? Yeah, isn't there like a build order where you, where you go for extremely fast Valkyries and then switch back to Bio or some stuff like that? Oh, uh, but you don't, uh, you don't really need to rush for the gas, for the refinery. So. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a turn player, I'm not a Zerg player, so I can't really judge. Wait, you're a oh. Protoss player. You're not a safe player. Yeah, I play the manly race. You like uh, the manly race with the jewels as the links. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see two factories? 
Yeah. It's funny. Oh. And an armory. Wow. Is he going straight straight for the Goliath? Yeah, probably I guess. Or maybe aiming for a plus one attack timing? Plus one attack with like what? Uh, Goliath, plus one. I don't know, does this work? That's the question. Uh, there are so many options that I don't know, I'm not sure. I will tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it's interesting to see what Michael is going for. I mean, he does know that uh, Tyron is going for Mac, I guess. Because he sees the barracks isn't doing anything, the moving count is very low. Yeah, there's only one Marine. Yeah, so there has to be Mac. And he, oh, oh he sacrificed a, oh. an Overlord. Yeah, but why? I mean, just to be sure, I, I guess. Okay. I, I, I don't, I don't like this move, but. Yeah. Wait I mean, he is attacking <laughs> the supply. Yeah. <laughs> but this guy may attack. <laughs> 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 why may attack? Uh, because I'm quite sure he couldn't really scout, so he can't be super 100% safe that this isn't going to be some sort of Hydra bust. And yes, but he did just... my siege. Yeah, okay, that's correct. Why well, you, you, you can do much with one tank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you have a tank. Maybe he nice. is to fool uh, Michael, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, like saying, don't make Hydras, I'm ready for this. <laughs> Yeah. Michael is taking the the expansion with two gases. Yeah. Smart move because um, I mean it's going to be a while until Tyrant can really attack with anything, and at this point you at least have neutralists to slow him down and delay him even further. So taking expansion now seems sensible to me. Oh, you don't you don't like it? No, no, I, I, I think it's it's fine. It's the way to go, actually. Because, as I said, uh, Terran can't move out, so why don't you just expand? It's uh, really Actually, fun. he's taking two expansions at the same time. Yeah, sure, it makes sense, because, uh, like I said, it, it will be at least another two or three minutes before Terran can think about moving out, and you can actually delay him with your mutualists, because yeah, you, he has you are right about You are right about this, in this case. Because uh, this strat is not the uh, the pressure make that Terrans from Korea used to uh, to play, like making yeah, very like ten goliaths and you can go outside and the nine expansions. Yeah. This is really weird. Michael does a lot of damage. I really like that. Yeah, it was out of out of position. I'm not really sure that Tyron knows how to play this against Zerg. Yeah, Go. right. He's like he's he's going with the flow, I, I guess. Yeah, he just tries to improvise some sort of build. I mean, it's going to be so long until he actually can do anything, and at the point you move out, so at least this time he's ready for this. <laughs> oh, he's number one meter. Nice. Wow, I think Michael is very far ahead. Yeah, most definitely. I would love uh, if Michael would just add another uh, a Hydra Dam or something like that to have a really good mix against this pure mass of Goliaths. Because this is what really, really will going to kill the Terran. Because he really does only have Goliath and nothing against uh, ground units at this moment. Well, he has two siege turns. Yeah, well, two siege tanks don't do a lot against, like, let's say, 24 hydralists and uh, 20 neutralists. And he's making more factories, so this is pretty much two ways all in. Yeah, most definitely. I don't see evolution chamber from Michael, so I guess he's going just four meters. He's he's making more hatcheries. Um. Yeah. No. His new expansions are going to kick in, so I guess he, he's going to win it quite easy. I mean, even if he can't destroy Tyrant's push oh, right away. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Well, he's mm -hmm. getting some shots. 
the mutas. Not big deal. Because it's not like Terran is going to attack right now. Yeah. But you know, this Terran army is a bit scary. Versus yeah, all the mutants. Yeah, that's what I that's what I tried to tell you. A few more hydralisks and this was wouldn't be this scary. Yes, he's making the Hydra thing on an evolution right now. I think it's too late. Yeah. I think he, at least he he was supposed to be to make some links, like two or three pack of links. Yeah. But uh, even if Tyrant does some damage now, it's I think it's basically way too late. He's going to counter attack the main, or no? Yeah. No, no, no. He's not doing it. No, just trade units. Just trade oh, units. Oh, is bad. Just one one mutalist. Oh, the one mutant matters. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> you're shitty, so I play now. That you don't you're about to waste units. the loss of one mutant. <laughs> <laughs> this is very expensive. Uh, All right. I mean, you're basically crying when you play against like Protoss. So. <laughs> every oh. every circling you lose. No, oh. not, not the circling. Oh, and here oh, it comes. This is not the best attack. But, uh. Would the scooters even shoot? What's going on? I what? don't know. He's not moving, no, he's not moving the, the Goliath. Oh. Okay, this is over. Uh, oh, it's going to lose the siege tanks as well. One circle. Okay. Hmm. Uh, that was a disconnect. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I mean because no GG. I always say it's a disconnect. Oh. Okay. We are no bad miners. It was a disconnect. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. <laughs> you know what? I know what happened. Michael was, uh, he was so ahead that he can't believe he lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't understand him. I really can't. So, wait. Michael actually lost this game. Yeah, yeah, he lost. Oh, you didn't know. <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this map is Circle Breakers. This is the recent map that is being played in the ASL. Yeah, I know Circuit Breaker. No, I, uh, I'm telling the, the public about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know Circuit Breakers. Uh, so, what do you think? Who has the more chance? Uh, I guess Michael has this, most definitely. He's not going to lose a game uh, like this again. At least I hope. We'll see. Five, four, three, two, one. So the score is one one. We are watching the IC Cup Nation League. The Khan War is America against Peru. As Brown Zerg in the top right corner we have Michael for Team America and in the top uh, stop, bottom left corner we have Handy from Peru as Taran by Taran. And it's going to be a, a probably a quite standardized game, from what we can tell. Michael is probably going to just uh, three edge mutalisk, and Andy will be doing some sort of fast expand from one barracks. But you know what? I think she's question. gonna play one base. You sure? Yeah, I, I know Handy a bit, and he likes to play like. Three, three barracks, uh, one yeah, okay. base. Okay, I mean, I have to believe you because, <laughs> like, <laughs> I just learned that this is actually a person, not Dandy. <laughs> so. Oh, actually, you didn't know uh, way, but you you did see this player before. Yeah, but I just thought, uh, yeah, it's just a Smurf. <laughs> okay. Like different AK, like Master and Lancer X. Oh, you didn't know about this also. Oh wait, there's a player called Mas. <laughs> 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 oh my god. 
So yeah, you're right. Third plate is going standard. It's going for an expansion. Uh, the hand is making a barrack, then a scout. Yeah, um, <coughs> my prediction is so good. This, uh, no, hunt. we were grown. This is what is this? <laughs> this is <laughs> this is twelve pool and eleven gas. Something like that, yes. <laughs> and this I have no idea. <laughs> this is a very fast scout by by handy. Hmm. Is he going to block the expansion? Yes. Oh, this is bad for my card. <laughs> this is really bad. Yes. Why he didn't buy an engineer? I would like to see an engineer. Yeah, he didn't, but... So, how is Gandhi gonna read to this? And he's going one base. You were right. Yes, but... What are you gonna do one base versus a very, very fast layer? I don't know. Like you are making two barracks and then gas, maybe factory start pour or you are pulling more pressure? Like I think uh, the best idea would to actually put pressure on Zerg, like try to kill him before he can either go for lurkers or for mutilists, like bust his sunkens. Maybe this is the idea behind all this. This is not a good uh, strat by Michael. Look the gas. He didn't even made a... Yeah, it's he didn't even make the, the speed. This is not effective. He's not mining to the full potential. Yeah, sure. Uh, the worst part is that uh, Handy sees this quite well. So he can really adapt and take his time. Yeah. But it, to be honest, uh, wait a minute. He's attacking mm. with four, why, why? Four, four marines? Wait, what? Uh, I guess he just wanted to chase away the Overlord. But this is a nice move because now Michael is forced to make more links or a sunken. Mm. I'm not too sure about, about that because um, you have all the time in the world. No, Academy is, is just finished. He's making too many, so he's gonna move out. Oh, you mind right now? I thought you were referring to this four marine attack. Oh, no, 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 I, I, I'm pretty sure he, he can attack with four marines. I mean, he do that, <laughs> and I will find him in Peru, like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, it's uh, not happening. Okay, he comes the first suck, uh, at least the first creep colony. And oh, wow, second. one link is sniping the CBs. Yeah. Wait a minute. Michael is making two... Two sunken. Yeah. And he keeps his links to Harris. I think this is a pretty good idea right now. Okay, man. I think Michael is very behind. Look the gas, look the minerals. Uh, look, he's missing overlords. Yeah. But uh, Taran isn't so good or so much ahead either because he's still on one base. Now he has to pull all his SCVs for these three marines. Oh my god, what is uh, he doing? Third. Oh god. What? This was bad, so... Oh... Oh, nice block, nice block. Okay... Uh, uh, still, two marines, two medics. <laughs> yeah, but he has mutants now. Yes, but he... two mutants. Only two. Three. Okay, three mutants. And drones. And Don't forget the and drones. One is dead. No. No, no, no. Uh, one mutant is in the expansion. Oh, sh <laughs> <laughs> this game is very the strange. Undying. The undying medics. I, uh, this guy is making a CC right now. Oh, this is definitely not the best choice. And an extra barrack. Yeah, I was expecting like a factory. A factory follow up. Now he cancels the, the command center. Uh, he's gonna make a factory? I don't know. No, he's gonna make the Taurus and make the CC outside. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why do, you can why, why do you cancel the CC? You can float this to the expansion. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess now Michael has this, actually. Because there's not much Tyron can actually do. And no, well, we are going... Uh, actually, he made the factory. Not finally, but he made it. He decided to make a factory. But where? Where's the factory? Oh, it's very oh, close yeah. to the refinery. Oh, no, I see it. Yes, yes. Uh, now, uh, you know, the terra position is not so bad, even if he's making some mistakes. Yeah, but Tyron can't really move out for the next, like, let's say, two minutes or so, because he just can't get a uh, turrets up. Mm. Oh, okay, so maybe shouldn't lose all his mutalists. Yeah, he has six, six mutas. He's very low in drones. Um, this Terran is making... Wow, he didn't, he didn't finish the barrack. <laughs> he's very close to finish, but he didn't. <laughs> yeah, because why should he? And he's going straight for the starport. I guess he wants to have fast vessels. Yeah, I don't or Valkyrie. I think vessels may, make, makes more sense. Yeah. Mm. Should be really careful with the Cyrus, so... Okay. And you know what? Which... I like handy position. Yeah, I still think uh, Circus all isn't isn't so far behind actually. Because he is still making drones. He he, he don't he has nine mutas. He's not doing. Yeah, but he's keeping keep losing marines. And he's keep losing mutas. Mutas. <laughs> all right. <laughs> he's trading mutas for marine. This is bad. You you can you never you never try it. Especially in his position. Yeah, but sure, uh, Handy just doesn't dare to move out. So, time is playing for Zerg here, in my opinion. Hmm. He's making a CC now. So let's yeah. let's calculate a bit, this a bit. Michael is making the Hydra then right now. Yeah, sure. He wants uh, f a few workers. And Terran has 24 CVs and he's still making more. Handy plus one <coughs> is very close to finish. So, uh, where is the science vessel base? I don't know. Why he made a port? Yeah, he's, ah, no, it's he's making this now. So, I, 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 he he the main siege tank. So maybe, maybe lurkers could be a problem for him. Yeah, it depends. Depends on the first irradiate. Like, if Terran gets the irradiate out, and so it doesn't really split, then it's just Marines and Vessel against the Kilo. Yeah, but if you make like five Lurkers, you have only one irradiate. And. Yeah, sure. It's not magic. You need to wait and Sir keep making units, so. Um, oh, he keeps losing so many Marines. Wait, oh. he made a dropship. Dropship? And he, he shoves the dropship, so. You can't forget to do anything about it with this. Yeah. He's gonna lose one barrack? Oh, but he's losing... Utilis, though. Okay, decent job by, by Michael. If we are watching the position he is right now, it's more than a decent job, in my opinion. Yeah, most definitely. Andy fi finally is gonna make the... The machine <laughs> shop, or not? And he has so many medics, so so many medics. He has more medics so than marines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean he could drop all his medics in a uh, circ base just to keep them busy killing them. No, or upgrade the blind, the blind upgrade and put in the in the drones, so they can't see anything. <laughs> right. I don't know what you will accomplish with that, but it would be funny. Yeah, Pimpus play. Most definitely. <laughs> um, I mean, that's uh, something you could do against like human TVT, but I'm not sure if it works against Michael. <laughs> um, uh, so the first science vessel is going to come out, but I don't think he has irradiated research, so this vessel won't really be much. Let's see. Five lurkers. Uh. You, yeah, he you know the good for the for the Terran is that the series is still very low in drones. There is no hive, there is no plus one car pace yet. Yeah, but so can And he's hard. sitting in radiates.
um, his muta army is gone. There are yep. there are six mutas left, but this is it's, yeah. You can't really do but, much with six mutas. Six mutas. Yeah. But he has a lot of circlings right now, so there's not much Tyrant can do against the ground force. You kidding me? There are two firebats. One firebat can kill twelve links. Is it <laughs> what are you talking about? Wait, wait, maybe the lurkers are, are a problem. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, in combination with the lurkers, because you uh, you have so many narrow points on this map, like going in through the ramps or something like that. Can he surround this no. army? I don't know. Why, why, why does he want to attack? This is stupid. Don't. All right. Oh, oh. I guess Mike can win. Yeah, Mike wins. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> mm, nice game. Nice game by nice Michael. Game. Nice. Listen, when a player plays behind like this and you see this, this comeback, you can only clap. <laughs> Seriously. North Korea. <laughs> if if it was a Protoss player, I would say anything, but it was a third player, so nice job. <laughs> So the next game is Terror versus TY2. Okay, never heard about this player. He's like TY, but 2. 2. Okay. So is he Canadian, is he American, or what is he? <laughs> He's American, I think. Ah, okay. Go, go, go. And the first one is Aztec. Of four, course. 3, 2, 1. <laughs> So right now America, America yep. is leading to out. Holy shit, that's a lot of spam. All right, as purple sword, we have at the what's that? Five o'clock ish, four o'clock ish. At bottom right, <laughs> we have two for our Team American, and at the twelve o'clock, as whatever as Tyron is Tyra from Team Peru. So, who is better, two or Terror? Oh, you kidding me? Uh, Terror is a. Uh... <laughs> hey. No, no, no. I, I'm not blaming the the other player, but Terror is all. Is the old, yeah, yeah. It's the it's the new generation of Brew War, but the old war. This the why is new. Yeah, I know. I know Terror, but I uh, I've been gone for so long. I don't really know if Terror is still playing actively or not, or. If Hence the question. I think he was playing Dota 2 or something like that for some time, but he's back now. He's streaming a lot of Brew War, playing free server, so... Okay. And TY2 is a new player. He's a new blood. It's new, new blood in this game. Ah, oh, okay. Good to know. And he's decent. Yeah. He's uh, still not in the level of... of terror, in my opinion, but he's decent. Okay. You can find... You can find his block... Uh, in Team Luigi about uh, Nation Wars and his practice. Uh, okay. It's very interesting. <laughs> he was so be so sad after losing to Russia that all the Russian team comes to the block and support him. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was very awkward. <laughs> 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 it's like you are oh, making a block Russians. and you are pretty sad about losing to Russia, and then every Russian player comes to post. <laughs> 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 it feels oh, so no. weird. <laughs> <laughs> Russian team, best team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Interesting war by by Terror. It's the first yeah. time I watched this war. Is this? I didn't. Time? I didn't know this was this was possible. Yeah. Okay. Why not? <laughs> because you can war in the main. You don't need to war this. Um. Okay. Uh, is the marine going to spawn outside? Is the next question. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, this is basically pointless if the marines keep spawning outside. Yeah, it keeps outside. Yeah. That's why no one does it. Oh, this is a lot of drones. Wait a minute. What? What, I ha don't know. what happened? Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> the overlord saw the barracks, and um, I guess he assumes there's <laughs> going to be a bunker rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this was such a terrible misread. <laughs> uh, 
me, me, come on, don't make fun about their players. I, I, sometimes I make this mistake because they may have fight a fake bunker and pull the drones for no reason. <laughs> no, 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 no point to blame him because this is so, so incredibly weird. Yeah, I, I feel mean, bad you are logging about this uh, poor ser player. <laughs> no, I mean, imagine your yeah, opponent I mean, does the most stupid shit ever and you're going to lose because you... I don't know, I've never seen this. <laughs> Terror <laughs> leaves Varrak to, 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 to kill the Overlord. Yeah, but he's a Vulture coming up. It is I think I think he should be fine. Killing these uh, six Zerglings. Oh man, the Vulture is... The Vulture is almost done and TY2 is so behind. He's so behind. Yeah, most definitely. Oh, he's gonna go, he's gonna cancel the CC. No. no, he can do it. He can do it. Whoa, not bad. Hmm. This was actually a really good judgment. Yeah, that was very close. Like I think, if Terror put the CV to to keep working, he mm -hmm. no way he killed the CC. Uh, cancel the CC. Yeah. So the scouting SV dies <coughs> and Zerg is a bit high on minerals. I think he missed a few timings there, didn't he? I, if we are talking about timings, there are no timings anymore in this game. Like, okay. what kind of timing we are talking about? <laughs> timing? I don't know. <laughs> what timing? <laughs> Are we talking about timings? <laughs> no. Uh, no, uh, I was just expecting a third hatch way earlier than that, but alright. Um, yeah, he may want, but I think he chose to priori prioritize the, the lair. So Taran keeps uh, adding vultures and probably going for the academy and an eBay and an armory. But well, he's going for the academy, so fast. Uh, guess for scans. I mean, Terra scouted that and didn't see a third hatchery, so maybe he was afraid of fast lurkers or something like that. But even that doesn't make much sense because he has mines. Yeah. Ah. I mean, you, wow, he's making the plus one for the bio. So this is a bio strat in the end. Okay. But man, we are missing something here. Like more barracks, no? Or <laughs> what's going on here? <laughs> That's something I would expect. At least I wouldn't like float my barracks around so often. He just floated it back to his natural, then did land it, floated it again. Oh T Y two is making the overlord SP on the on the Hydra range. Yeah, he's expecting mech and I mean, that's a justified expectation. Wait a minute. Terror is making the plus armor, the, the, the plus attack for the mech, also. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> timings. <laughs> well, timings? We're talking about timings. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now Goliath. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> it's one factory goal. He probably is making siege. <laughs> oh god. Wait a minute. I mean, it doesn't make he's sense. probably what just are you making Goliath. Yeah, yeah, he's he's just high. It's okay. He's high and drunk. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is some kind of timing that I don't know. Yeah, it's probably one of those builds where you just add anything and hope for the best. Or maybe so. he's just so ahead that he doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, that's not the best way to, to okay, engage. Okay, now, now it looks like more like a plan, like three barracks, six tanks, one Goliath, you know, one one timing. Yeah, but how does he stop this? Uh... And the funny is that TY2 crossed the map with a slow Hydra. Yeah. <laughs> like, how crazy is that? <laughs> Why will you this cross really the map? Crazy. I I don't think he can do he can do much. There are two six tanks, two bunkers. No, he can most definitely not break this. 
Yeah, this is gonna be cool. like attack and GG. You wanna see that? Yeah, I mean, if he attacks, I don't know. I mean, he's expecting full max, so he has to know there are siege tanks. No, he's gonna attack. He look the Hydra number. Oh no. Oh no. He's losing Hydra for free. Yeah, he lost another Hydra to a mine. Wow, man. Terror put the siege tanks in the low ground. Yeah, they're basically out of range, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are all out, but very, very out. But, it, okay, they, they can defend the bunker, but if somehow the Hydras get close to the supplies, they are, they are in good position. Oh, drop. Yeah. <laughs> Hydra oh, this drop. is very good. This is very good. This is smart play. Yeah. But the now, now... Terror has like four marines. Yeah, but four tanks. <laughs> oh, this is so devastating. Oh, and he's lurkers. making lurkers. Yeah, very good. If he kills the scan right now. Yeah, I mean, he's losing the hydras. No, no, no. He won't lose the hydras. Yeah. I believe. <laughs> he can do. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wait, but he's gonna snipe the lurker. He's not working. Oh, it's working. Oh, he's gonna snipe the engineer. He is sniping the armory. And now would be a perfectly good time to just attack the natural. I wonder why Zerg doesn't uh, do this. Just attack the natural. There's nothing left. Yeah, but you know what? That was very expensive. Yeah, but he uh, just the second drop. Yeah. Okay. He's killing one tank, maybe second two, tank. but the bio is gonna clean the hydro. <laughs> oh. Okay. Good defense. It's incredible, incredible that Terror has so much scum. Yeah. I mean, if this drop would have hit like 10 seconds earlier, this would have seen... Maybe this would have been different. It's sad that he didn't multitask uh, some, some units to the expansion. And because Terror holds this like... What, what he lose honestly? One Gina? Some tanks and some marines. Yeah, some SUVs as well. Yeah, but the, the, the CV number is, is very high. It's in yeah, perfect shape. Still. Yeah, the Larker in the high ground. It's a bit yeah, late I'm for seeing. that, but. Not bad. Two kills. Yeah, it's basically just only annoying. Maybe he's uh, forcing him to waste some scans, so... but that's like all you can expect. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. pickup. Yeah. So, TY2, oh. what are you gonna do from this? It's going to annoy him with occasional drops, as it seems. There are only 24 drones. There is no transition from this. Yeah. I mean, this would have worked out quite well if Zerg either would have attacked the natural expansion or expanded himself, but like this, it's just waiting to die, I guess. Hmm. The future is dark for this man. Hmm? The future is dark for TY2. Hmm. Uh. Uh, I mean, it won't take long and Tyro can attack himself. Do you think the force can save him? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He's not Darth Vader. <laughs> you are... You are underestimating the force, my friend. Yeah. <laughs>
Never do that. You won with the force. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I, this is impossible. This is like some micro map tank defense um, with mix of turret defense and and then you have the there was a map that about nation wars wars do you do you know this one no that you you are in some in some position you have some units and you are Russia or you are Germany or something like that <laughs> no 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 uh, I played so few fun maps I really don't know. Oh, this drop spots the dropship. <laughs> That's a bit of irony here. <laughs> That's unfortunate. It's like, hey, hi. <laughs> oh, maybe he just built the dropship to uh, scout <laughs> incoming drops. Yeah, the traffic, the traffic air is is very high right now. You need to wait a bit. Yeah. So another doom drop or not? Maybe he can drop this in the high ground. No, no, don't do no. that. Don't do that. Don't go straight to the army. <laughs> you, you will, you will never want to do it. Dropping front of bio is is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, and now you know what is funny? He didn't make a single upgrade. The sir. Yeah. No. Why would he? It was basically an all-in. So. Yeah, but uh, you can make an all in wing a plus one. It will be more stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Four pool plus one. Oh? Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. No, this is skirmish is too much. <laughs> you can, you can. It's Hydras, man. You can, you can fight Hydras versus sea tanks and marines. Basically over. Yeah, it's GG. Wow, nice game. This turned into a very nice game. If you are, if we are taking in consideration that TY2 pulled, like motos, yep. fist drones outside, trying to hold up a bunker <laughs> rush or I don't know what. Yeah, this was this was really hard to defend. So actually. We we are for the game too, and is Tau Cross. All right, Tau Cross. As a third player, I will never take Tau Cross as my what? as my pick. Hmm. I don't like Tau Cross, especially versus versus Terran. You need to take care of the. Of the entry because he can make up supply and won't rush you, your expansion. Yeah, maybe that's what we're going to see. <laughs> Let's go. Five, Let's go. four, three, two, one. So the score is 1 0 for Taro of Team Peru against the 2 2 2 <laughs> of America. And we have a uh, purple Terran in the top right of Tau Cross Tyra for Team Peru and in the bottom at uh, the 6 o'clock ish position the orange Zerg uh, 2. Yeah. Yeah, TY2. <laughs> uh, he lose, but he made a good show. Yeah, we definitely. Can, we can deny this. There was a moment that I was like, "Why is he gonna win this game?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first drop looked really, really scary. I'm pretty sure if multitask the one drop to the spencer like four hydras, he could snipe some SCVs at the same time and put terror in in a chaos, like defending everywhere. It was it would be very hard for him for him to hold this. Yeah. Mm. So a standard play from terror, no a racks, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, standard play. No bunker like rush. Like last game. <laughs> okay, no bunker rush. <laughs> and T.Y. is scouting in the right direction. This is uh, this is good for him, I guess. Or at least he, he doesn't know and he, he let the Overlord in a place to be killed, so... Ah, no, I don't think he's going to lose this Overlord. Oh, Overpool. Yeah. Um, what can I say? I didn't expect overpower. 
Yeah, but maybe he's scared of uh, like a really aggressive play, like you said, just ability po and kill your expansion right away. So to circumvent that, have early links before you have the hatchery down, something like that. But then it's a really terrible map choice, actually. Yeah, but it's it's very bad. Like you, you as Terran, you will laugh about overpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Terran will be like, you are making our pool? LOL. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Tau cross, alright, die, Zerg. But you know what? He choose he choose uh, Tau cross, so he has a plan. Yeah, I'm excited to see what it is. Maybe three edge muters. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh, here's the people. You see, that's why you don't make horror pool here. <laughs> 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 I told you. <coughs> I mean, you're just so mean to them. No, but <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad. Ma Wait a minute. Why is Terror crossing the map when one marine? Yeah, this is uh, this is the Peruvian way. I mean, Andy did the very same thing. It worked out very well. He's gonna make this easy. No. He's gonna make this easy. And no, a supply. He's just, he's just blocking with SVs. No, but he made a CC and inside the main. Yeah, sure. Um, only six lanes, so this is not a big deal for Terra right now. Yep. He he can even send back the the CVs. He's not in trouble. Yeah, but he does no. He has no SV out anymore. Um, behind this, he's taking the refinery. I'm expecting an uh, engineer plus one into four barracks, the most standard play nowadays, or maybe five. Or uh, maybe an eBay with plus one and an armory with plus one, and uh, <laughs> 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 you know, there are more buildings. <laughs> you know, this reminds me when I started to play the game. <laughs> I was making a bit of everything, everything because I I didn't know the units w that will come, so I was I was trying to make every unit I can, so I made everything. The evolutions I thought I will get some units <laughs> if I made the evolution. <laughs> yeah, I mean you get spore colonies. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just play what the CPU does. Uh, I mean the Garmbrot, very good player. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, standard play, standard play from Terra. This time it's very standard. Like he's making the academy, the engineer plus one. He's not making the plus one, but he made the engineer. Yeah, this is very standardized, but uh, same is true for 2y2 for the moment. Yeah, ty2 is uh, is playing standard. I'm expecting a spare because. I was thinking, he took uh, Tau Cross. Yeah, so maybe some sort of drop strategies or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like some Hydra Den, like Hydra Den, Luke drop in the high ground. And he's playing it very safe. He spread links across the space just to watch out for, like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> some cheese factories lifting, floating in, or something like that. But no. No, no. Everything is normal so far. No, no, I just said, uh, so I predict, uh, predicted that, because if you look at his circlings in his base... Oh, yeah. He's um, he's making a second sunken colony. Yeah, it's a bit early for that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very early. Especially versus five barracks plus one. He doesn't know it's five barracks, but... Yeah, sure. Uh, he should know that he's... It's not a uh, two barracks pressure. By this timing, we are talking about timings. <laughs> timings. <laughs> 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 there are no timings. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's like in the Matrix. There's no spoon. There are no timings. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about timings, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three hash meter. And Terrog is. Uh, He's not making Torres. 
No, not Actually, yet. he's pulling out the marine from the bunker. I guess he wants to either attack or do fake attack, but fake attack would probably... No, he's making five. He may fire barracks, so this is not fake attack. <laughs> this will. Be... No, this is wrong. I I it's, don't know. Look, this is real. This guy is going to kill this uh, this air player. Okay. Or at least he's going for it. This is not some kind of fake. You are not making five barracks to do a fake. Okay, turret's up now, and the mutil is out. So but there is only one turret, there is only one turret. Yeah, maybe it's enough. <laughs> we don't know. Um, so eight links, eight links is not enough. No, eight links and eight marine, uh, usually it's definitely not. I mean, maybe with Jadon micro, I'm talking about a very old Jadon, not right now, but Jadon <laughs> micro. <laughs> maybe. Oh. First mutual is almost down. He's gonna snipe one medic. Oh, uh, hey, no. what what happened? Uh, it was like three mutas that only attack, or I don't know, maybe a bit of a miss micro. Hmm. Huh. Wait a so, minute, there, there are only two sunkens. <laughs> there are five medics. Yep. You only need two medics to kill two sunkens. There are five medics. Uh, the marine bio this army is, is huge. Really yeah, I think it's GG right away. Oh, I think, oh. I think you're right. I think Tawai is dead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. the, the, this micro this is, is decent, spicy. but it's, yeah. it's not enough. It's just not enough. Not too many minutes. Uh, he missed the timing. He totally missed the timing. And GG, terror to this series. 2 0. Yeah, I'm away for a bit. Just a doorbell. So this the score right now is two one for America. I guess we are going for the two v two. Oh wow, the map is hunters. Long time I didn't see this map in action. Hunters. Hmm. I don't know, I think the way to did show a very interesting game one. The second game he made all pull, I think he was already behind by this, but then he totally missed the point of what you need to do or versus the plus one four five barracks. You can you can make only Sunkens. It's not enough. He made a lot of links like he was playing versus two barracks, um, two medis pressure. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy with that game. Um, no, it's this is a pain right now, the 2v2, because I have no, mo no much experience with it. I can't tell you who is ahead and who is. Uh, who is going to kill the other, but um, I can't tell you about timings or what strat they are aiming for, what uh, what purpose. So again, if there is one 2v2 player in the chat, please give me some tips. I'm open for it. Just tell me. And we are waiting for Gecko. So 
so so so so there is a still the 2v2 left on the a smash um, so right now Peru need, needs to win the 2v2 to tie the match on the a smash the a smash will be a deciding factor because if they lose the the 2v2 yo America win the win this match and you will play the smash because you are supposed to play it anyway even if it doesn't matter because I believe there is a tournament for the a smash players with mods victories so yeah I guess it matters in the end Gecko where are you Yes. I guess I will need to start to sing something. <laughs> but I'm not a good singer, so. Uh. Alright, I'm back. Uh, sorry for the delay. No problem. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I was to start to sing or something because. <laughs> oh, I came back too too early for that. <laughs> All right, no, just neighbor checked in. Got some questions. Okay. So who's playing now? I have no idea. He says two v two. Oh God. And we we <laughs> Let's have. Let's do this. We have hunters. Yeah, hunters. I mean, okay. a w good. I, I didn't know this was a map from the from the nation wars. I didn't see this in the line. I don't know who who chose these maps because uh, I think I still have an admin account, but I really don't talk to the guys anymore. So maybe somebody thought this would be fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, do we do for in hunters? It's like it's a huge map for that, no? No, yeah, but you can play it, I guess. But it's better for uh, team games, I guess, uh, like three on three or four on four or something like that, or Phantom or yeah, I don't know. Th three versus three, four versus four, Phantom. That's fun. But four <laughs> players, eight hunters, eight <laughs> players map. You are like what? You are playing. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how you gonna play if you are in a corner, and the other yeah. players in, other, in the other corner. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, admins were like high and thought, hey, let's do Hunters, 10 minutes, 10 minutes no rush, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh my god, can you please do the players? I have no idea who they are. Uh, good luck oh. with that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, I'm gonna say you with the alley of... Okay, it's Job, but no, it's Job with uh, with Handy. It's blue and yellow together okay. as a team. All right. Hey, you know what? This map, this is fixed or something. How is it possible that they are so close, one to each other, as Alice? I don't know. This is really this is luck. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know this was possible. Who the fuck is Quanto? Oh, Quantum is a, he's also a young player. He's le, he's very young. Okay. Why is he using ideas tag? Indonesia. Uh, why does he play for America? Uh, because the, he was part of the World Union team, but there is no World Union, so they okay. put him to. I mean, Americans are very well, like taking every country they can, so. <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know um, the American educational system. <laughs> so maybe think, hey, Indonesia, it's, it's like a federal state of ours. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are taking your culture and we are make some <laughs> McDonald's and you know this is it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You yeah, have some democracy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coca Cola, baby. <laughs> Team America, fuck yeah! 
Yeah. All right. So. Um. Yeah. I as I say, guys, I I really don't know about two v two. As you see right now, there is one barrack, the third second an expansion. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a really smart play because um, Sir can just safely fast expand and Tyrant can actually try to wall this in, but for that uh, the barracks is just wrongfully placed. Uh, so I really don't know. So if he lifts barracks now and builds a wall in in this small ledge, it would be a really good idea. But so far, I don't know. Yeah, Team Peru is making a wall. Ah, good. Very good. Yeah, I think this barrack is tight, right? There is no way one link pass. I'm not entirely sure, but it should be tight enough. Oh. No, they don't pass. Nice. Very good. Wow, man, they are so lucky with this position. I can't believe actually they are so close to each other. <laughs> Yeah. Look how he ensures an expansion to the cell, just making a barrack. It's amazing. This is very good, yes, because he can freely attack now. And this is probably why he steals um, the gas of Protoss. I think we should make some tournaments, like playing uh, melee games. You know, with one cell with one CB. Um, <laughs> it will be really, really fun. But he didn't finish the barrack. Yeah. The only problem with uh, Team Melee is like you can't uh, watch the replays of that. So you can't really cast other than you cast live. Oh, there is no technology. Wait, they are making cannons. Who's making cannons? Oh, they try to they cannon rush them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Why why not cannon rush them and just erase the wall in that? Because um, Terran, it will take some time until it has a tank. And so it can definitely not do anything against it at all yeah. and I guess flying is going to back up this can rush with mutilisks so it's uh, it's not a bad idea I'm not sure if this is standardized 2 and 2 or not but there's an internal logic behind it hmm. he's making a spare in this pension No, I mean, one second. So, guess. whatsoever what's good or who's ahead but so far Team America seems to be a bit more coordinated in terms of strategy yeah okay I'm back alright you didn't really miss anything um, Protoss managed to somehow get his can rush done but it's a bit too late in my opinion to actually do anything Hmm. Yeah. So this is going to be a quite long game, I expect, because, um, I mean, Peru can't move out, but uh, America can't really move in or attack. So, hard to tell what happens next. What I quite uh, dislike is um, the idea of the Protoss to actually tag up in this position. He should probably go for an expansion because he's delaying the attack timing of the Peruvians but he can't ever attack thanks to the tanks and these narrow path ways so 
this is basically my opinion on the game. Yeah, he sniped one time, that was nice. Yeah. But this is like all he can do, so... Oh, the engine? <laughs> the mutants are fighting like uh, at the Zerg expansion of yellow. Maybe he can make that arc on. Hmm? That arc on. Maybe he can make that arc on to get the mutants. Yeah, I'm not sure if he needs that. I like that uh, Peru is slowly pushing towards uh, this fortificator. Oh, very nice. Another wall in. I like that Peru is trying to bust out and uh, put some pressure on these other two guys because uh, Peru more or less has to do this right now. Else uh, the other team, Team America, can just safely expand and at some point just, well, Spam a click and kill them. Hmm. But let's see, Tyron trying to expand. Yeah. Mm, very nice pressure. Yeah. It's a really nice micro, but. Well, somehow they are taking an expansion. Oi. So this looks really bad for Team America right now. At least the fight is. Um, yeah, he does he a lot of mutas. Yeah, this was a bit of overcommitted, I think. So who is who is Job anyway? Some Peruvian uh, player, low rank. Okay. He's doing fine though. Um, he's making more hatcheries. Yep. I think Team America lost the momentum. Yeah, but uh, the good thing for Team America is that Proto slowly starts to get pumping. So he can at least try to do anything, at least stop um, Team Peru from entering the center, at least for the moment. But I don't know what he's going to do against the mech, because uh, this mech push supported by Zerg is really, really hard to counter. It's plus one car pace versus plus one attack for the mutants. Yeah, right now. So what's better? I think the car pace is better, right? Because it cancels the third shot, the third bounce. But I really like the position from the Terran. He's uh, making a fortress every time he's moving. <laughs> yeah. This is really, really good. At least on this map, because it's so, so narrow. Maybe this is uh, why they chose Hunters, I don't know. Um, or was Hunters really the start map? Wow, nice mines. Very nice mines, yes. Andy is really, really doing a good job of just rolling with his neck towards uh, his opponents. It's been a while since I saw this last. 
I didn't know it was possible to play in Hunter this way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you often laugh about Hunter's players, but uh, the good teams are really, really good on that. Um, there are some really interesting games just to watch because it's so micro-intensive. And if a team is very well organized, it really looks good. But you rarely see this in public games. That's a problem. Oh, he's gonna have the suspension. Yeah, it's not such a big problem, I think. But wait a minute. He can fight the meters. He's behind. Yeah. I like the way that um, Flying is playing this, that he still aggressively ex uh, expands. But I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. Oh, nice Ooh, stone. Nice stone, very nice stone. But still a very good defense. This uh, feels a bit like if, as if Flying plays against Handy and the other two are just more or less watching. Hmm. Ooh, another good storm. I think America's winning. Yeah. At the moment, at least. Like, they, they kill the mutants, they, they clean the siege? Yeah. Oh, Protoss wastes so much units. would be a good idea for Protoss to just expand once more to get some more units or at least try to attack from a different angle um, this this expansion of the Terran just from uh, the top position <coughs> yeah it looks like they are playing with fair <coughs> like he's gonna spend right now like trying to get a corner Man, at the same time, this Terran keep pushing, keep making torres, keep the massive yeah. tanks. I mean, it's a very good style on this map. You have to end it. <laughs> to end it. Stone. Yep. No, they they definitely shouldn't attack one by one. They should attack simultaneously, but for some reason they don't. the door with some meters. Yeah. I mean it would have been a good idea for uh, Protoss to maybe just go for a Dark Archon or something and uh, Maelstrom the opponent's meters because this would hard counter this entire mix so hard. I guess it doesn't matter because it's two one meters versus one one. Yeah. Circus and then with the expansion up. Maybe he gets the Rani. Protoss finally expands as well. Oh. 
can't you just uh, cast another one once? <laughs> I have honestly no idea what to say about this. <laughs> well, he's remaking the engineer. And he's going to lose his expansion again, uh, so that is. Hmm. Three geysers versus two geysers, so. Terran is almost my now in the main. Yeah, Terran also apparently lost his eBay at some point. So flying is telling us that he is self. Uh, he, he's Zerg? Okay. Oh, Zerg is losing his main. This is over, I guess. Yeah, I don't think he can defend it. The other Zerg lost all, his, uh, all of his workers, but uh, this won't really matter. Hmm. What's up with the Protoss natural actually? The probes there. Yeah, but what cost? <laughs> are they like still playing or are they watching? I don't know. They are like kind of this. They are like, ah, get the drones, I got this. <laughs> yeah. This is a very strange game. I can honestly not tell who's winning this anymore. Um, America team, I guess, because the mute has advantage. Yeah, probably, but uh, he has science vessels now, finally. He's going to get irradiated, so... Protoss really doesn't do anything. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, this is he. He's gonna get this is he. Right, the Zerg is going to kill the Terran. <laughs> no, thanks. So the interesting question is, did uh, Henny have enough time to research Irradiate or was uh, the science stuff killed too early? What? Just like now? I think um, Henny couldn't research uh, Irradiate, so he has vessels that can't do anything. Yeah. Really. And now the brothers can clean this, this content. Right, this is up for Okay, so it doesn't accept. He's got this. <laughs> it's funny that the yellow series is still in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is just bad mana. <laughs> okay, he's out. GG. So America is winning two months. <coughs> Apparently. And it's leading the 2v2 once out. 
Yep. On the map it's Python. Interesting. <laughs> At least on all the map. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Alright, so the second team of two. America is up 1 0. And the teams are. Oh my god. Flying and Quantel for Team America. Quantel being a uh, third player on the right, on the three o'clock, on, on the. Oh my god, where is he? And Quantel is LA. Is Quantel Taran now? And his. Yeah, yeah Quantel is Taran. So it's uh, basically top versus bottom. Interesting. So, Taran for America is Quantel from <laughs> Indonesia and. At the bottom, at six o'clock position, we have Yop for Team Peru, and as Yellow Taran on the nine o'clock, it's Sandy. The map is Python. And no. Yes. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Were there just like hallucinated critters running around? Yes, I, I did see this. <laughs> Peruvian Python. <laughs> Alright. So it's interesting, we have the same races. What's standard here then? I guess making a wall and going for factories. So it seems that uh, Henry forgoes a wall and just goes straight barracks only. So I guess he's going Marines then? Oh well, his position is not so easy to war. Oh no, he's going for Mac. Same as Quanto. And the interesting part is the flank goes for the gas straight away. So fast attack, apparently. So neither Zerg tries to expand, that makes a lot of sense, as both allies of them going for Mech, which is slowing them down, so they couldn't defend even if they wanted to. It's interesting that Henry just skips the Marine without warning. Um, he's not expecting a ratio. Yeah. Is uh, this one in link tied? Yes, I guess. Oh, Man. he's gonna let the CV escape? Hmm? He let the CV escape. <laughs> <laughs> so, Yop is probably trying to just uh, harass a bit, but this won't have any effect. Quantel is going to kill the overlord of Zerg, so which is really nice. Mm. This is a terrible blunder actually. Yeah, he can say if <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. yeah, Zerg should probably not lose this overlord, but it's happened anyway. Oh, he's gonna snipe the marine? No. 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 This would have even been worse, like trying to snipe the marine and lose the circlings as well, in addition to the overlord. But on the other hand, it would free your supply, so. I don't think this is working. No, it's not working at all. <laughs> Zerg is so far behind. Uh, yup, that is. The Peruvian Zerg. Oops. Um. 
So apparently this really is a strategy because both nations do exactly the same stuff. Yeah, this is Thunder, I guess, in this map. Can this guy hold this bush? I don't think so. Yeah, no. Too many Zerglings. This could be game over, no? <sighs> Maybe they reinforce? No. No, no, no. Because uh, all handy has to help him out are to Goliath and this no, is just... No, he, he's no had been his ally anyway, so... Yeah, but uh, he can't possibly attack. Yeah, it's two versus two. Yeah. Well, the set is dead. Yeah. Circus definitely out of here. And at the top, uh, Handy tries to make something happen, but... Oh, what, what he's doing? He left the barrack. <laughs> yeah, why would he do that? Well, it doesn't matter, meet us. So, we could try to micro that future, but no point. That was our plan. Yeah. Um, but the he heck we should. <laughs> like yeah, no. GG. Oh, thank god it's over. <laughs> so, America basically leads this clan war 3 to 1. Yeah, America takes the clan war. 3. Yeah. 3 games. And I don't, I can't finish the A smash, actually. Huh? I can't finish the A smash. You have to leave? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I will finish this um, A smash tomorrow. Alright. Probably. <laughs> okay. So, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for co casting <laughs> with me, Gecko. Yeah. It was fun. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for opening. Very fun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, much. See Especially you. Too. Yeah, see you. Bye. Guys, I will keep casting more games in the next days because my finger is is fucked. <laughs> my finger is in terrible shape, so I will keep casting in the next day. So, if you have suggest suggestions about the games, you can tell me. Goodbye.